Welcome everybody, hope you're doing well, you know what time it is, it is Friday, which means it is new metal release day, and we're joined today with a very special guest, Spencer Turnus of Ice Nine Kill. Spencer, how are you doing today, homie? I'm doing amazing, it's Friday the 13th, it which, is. as you know, for me is a deeply religious holiday, holiday. Mm. so uh, yeah, just, you know, doing my part, yeah. praying to the gods of uh, Crystal Lake. Of course. Uh, Crystal Lake, of course. What about the band Crystal Lake? Do you fuck with Crystal Lake, the band themselves, too? The little I've heard of them mm -hmm. has been awesome. I remember someone showed me, like, a live video of them at, like, a big festival. I don't know if it was in Europe. Mm. And they just crush. Oh, yeah. They're uh, they're from uh, somewhere in Asia, right? Japan, dude, right? yeah. They're from Japan? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's really good. That's good, man. Well, yeah. If you... I've heard they're, like, really good live is what I've heard. Oh, yeah, it's fucked. It's they they, they, they yeah. go through that. But speaking of fucking live, dude, seeing I had the pleasure of seeing you guys live for the first time this year, and I was like, "Yo, you you oh not the first time. Sorry, I saw you guys live back when you did mod, uh, not even mod club, um, sneaky D's in Toronto. Oh my god, you were at one of those sneaky D shows. I was at one of the sneaky D's shows. Dude, bro. I love that place. The nachos were bomb, from what I remember. Yeah, I think it's still around, but it's it's a legendary venue in here, and uh, I remember that. And I will never forget it because that's one of the one of the first ish shows within a year I went to. And you fucking crowd surfed with like standing on the crowd, like you know, with your feet, and like people were like levitating you. It was fucking crazy. I was like, damn, these guys are wild, man. That was the first time I saw you guys. That's awesome. I feel like probably we played Sneaky D's maybe like at least five times coming up there when we would when we would play in Toronto. That's where we would usually play. It's you guys had the whole menu already ready to order. You knew you know what well, you got the nachos. Smart, good play. Well, you man. Get, get the nachos. The only thing I remember is that don't you have to carry shit up a lot of stairs? Yeah, it's terrible. But because I was a singer, I just had to, I carried like my jeans, I think. And one time my backpack. <laughs> my jeans. <laughs> and I was wearing those jeans. So. Yeah. You you guys have to carry a lot more shit now where you go, though, because of the crazy fucking production, which is the next thing I was going to kind of lead it to. Because I saw you guys this year and holy fuck, you guys go all out. It's no joke. It's a whole like. It's not just here's a metal show, here's like an entertainment mm -hmm. fucking movie theatrical, you know, opera happening in front of you, man. Well, thank you for that. Uh, I've always been a fan of musical theater, Les Miserables, fan of the fan of the opera, Grease, all those kind of musicals and seeing the insane production value that goes into them with with the set design changes and lighting cues and i've always been interested in, in trying to apply that to what we do so we aren't quite there yet but we're uh we're trying to get better every time we go out so hopefully mm. hopefully we'll do some sort of a broadway thing one day that that's the goal that would be fucking sick literally. it would be called a mu music kill is what i'm calling it it's oft broadway o-f-f-e-d killed well, who, who comes up with the puns is it you spencer I don't like to brag. Everyone, no, it's just me. It's just you. Okay. I mean, they, they, fucking, they throw it out, man. It's it's fun, and that's the thing about what you guys do. Like, you you're so good at what you do. I could like you guys have a bit of that perfectionism in what in what you do. I, I imagine it seems when you have. Such oh a, my god. Okay. Yeah. I am so annoying to work with. Ask, <laughs> ask our bassist singer, musical mastermind Joe. Like we've just been working on this new music video that we premiered last night as like a movie, and I, I he must have wanted to kill me at least ten times a day. I am just so meticulous, and I, I mean I think I have good ideas, mm. but I'm the kind of guy, even with writing music, I have to try twenty different ways until I stumble upon the right way, Damn. and I have to cross the line to figure out where it where I crossed it. So. I'm super annoying to work with, but I like to think that the pro, <laughs> the uh, juice is the juice is worth the squeeze at the end. But um, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. A bang, if you make a banger, a banger is a banger. That's it. It's as simple I, as that, man. A fucking banger. I appreciate. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. And I love that you guys take the time to do that. And like the the albums you've been throwing out. I've been following you guys since 
kind of just before the uh, every trick in a book, but really when I heard Communion and the Curse and then the whole roll up for that album was when I was like, who the fuck are these guys doing stuff? And that's when I saw you guys do Sneaky D's as well live. And I was like, holy fuck. Like, that's like, that's the next level commitment that you guys go to. And like, I remember before meeting you, I was like, okay, like they do it. And it's like, they're, they're passionate and they go hard. But then meeting you, I was like, holy shit. Like, no, you guys, like, this is your life. Like you revolve around your, your life, like around like the themes of all the stuff and horror movies, music, all of this. Uh -huh. And it's fucking really cool to see like I come to life. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It's like growing up, going to school. I never cared about school. I never gave a shit about anything really besides music and movies. Um, and to be able to do this and travel around the world is, uh, you know, we're, we're just super lucky to be able to do it. And we try not to take take any of it for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we were in Toronto, like not only is Toronto a beautiful city, not only do you guys go so hard in the paint because like, that show is awesome. Mm -hmm. But like I knew American Psycho was filming in Toronto. So I spent uh, the whole day going around <laughs> to the uh, Patrick Bateman locations and was just having a ball because I'm I'm a I'm a little kid at heart, you know. Did, were, were you were you reenacting the the movie as you were you were there? Doing oh, it? dude, we go all out. Like before before the show, after soundtrack, I think right before we did VIP, hmm. we we got decked out in our suits and we went to the bar that they hang out in American Psycho and like recreated a couple of the scenes um, with. Uh, with my boys, with the guys in the band. We like filmed the whole bathroom scene, like where he comes up to the guy with the gloves and like <laughs> is about to strangle him on the urinal, at the urinal. And we're eventually going to release all that stuff. But. Okay. I was, I was going to ask that because like that's, that's, yeah. I, I was just like, you guys just like, fuck, no, we got all dressed up, did this just for ourselves. Yeah. Like we don't need, fuck the internet. The internet doesn't need to see this. Uh, this is just for us. Yeah. The internet, this is just for my own files. <laughs> and I'm really, I've always been the real crazy one. Like, Everyone in the band like appreciates horror and, and likes movies and stuff, but I am just I've never met anyone as sick as, as me with this shit. Yeah. Maybe my uh convention representation, Sean Clark, mm. he's uh he he puts me at like the horror conventions all across the right. country and stuff, and he's as obsessed with the film location. So like I was in Austin recently and I was on the fifty yard line where they smoked the joint and dazed and confused and I texted him like, Yo, guess where I am? And he's like Guess where I am? The bar from American Psycho. I'm like, okay, that's why we're friends. That's because we're both fucking <laughs> that's weirdos. That's a true fucking friendship right there, man. That's true friendship yeah, right there. Because, no, I mean, not many people give a shit about that kind of stuff. And uh, for me, seeing the locations for my favorite movies is, mm -hmm. like, mind-boggling. Well, dude, horror has always been, like, just like in the mainstream movie field, like, the, the metal of movies, it seems. Like, kind of, it's, it's wild. It's out there. There's... There's no rules. It can go really extreme at times and then also be dramatic and have other elements of other movie genres in it. So that, I've always thought like, yeah, horror is just fucking metal for the movie. So to see a band like you guys take that so extremely over the years and commit not just to like one album with Silver Screen, but you guys did two of movies. I was like, fuck yeah. Like, you, this, is, this is something really cool. And you, guys, you guys just own it now. You just own like horror core, basically. Thank you, dude. It's uh, it's one of those things that it's just so fun to, for us to do. It's so fun to create this stuff. And I always liked music, you know, growing up when since I was a little kid, starting to play guitar, discovering Nirvana, discovering punk, discovering Metallica and metal and all that stuff. I always loved that. And as I said, I always loved horror. And doing the band the first, like, 10 15 years of course it was a blast and and you know there were obviously a lot of hard times trying to get the band signed and what can we do to right. to to tour out there and get people you know more than 10 people at a show but once that sort of light bulb went off with like let let's just combine those two loves mm -hmm. and uh it's it's not only made us uh a successful band but it's made it so much more fun because we get the ability to create all these offshoots like comic books and, and novels and s building the lore. And, and uh, you know, last night was like we strung all the videos together with this cohesive storyline and debuted our new video meet and greet, which is about, um, of course, Silence to the Lambs. And 
we also finished off the Horrorwood saga, like we end the whole story. Um, it was just like, wow, this is this is really cool. And that's how we approach the band now, more of like a movie franchise than than just a band. And uh, we have a lot of fun with it. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Hmm. Everything is sort of done with a little, you know, wink at the camera, a little tongue in cheek. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, yeah, just try to keep it real. Yeah. Well, th- thinking of it like a franchise, does that mean perhaps maybe we got a trilogy coming here? eventually yeah it, it, i mean I, I i would love to do that i think the fans want that um you know you listen to the the fans on the internet and sometimes you hear a few people saying oh they're getting tired of it but uh the numbers you know, don't show that the, bro <laughs> the people are not getting no tired i don't know you know I, I the last thing we want to do is become stale with it but um that's what's fun for us and and in a way being able to to use the the movie side of of the band to be able to weave in our own original stories and and also sprinkle in songs that aren't just about specific movies like the opening track mm. um welcome to horrorwood or the first song on welcome to horrorwood welcome to horrorwood um so i think we're just gonna kind of go wherever god takes us you i know? love that we're very we're deeply religious <laughs> Deeply religious to the horror S- core. To Satan. To Satan. To Satan. Satan. What's more hardcore? A a a breakdown or a or a jump scare? Oh God. I like combining the two. That's right? Cool. Yeah. That's Why would I make did, you choose? You know what? I'm a dick for even asking the, between the two, because that's not fair. I think the best thing, the best time we ever did that is at the end of Thank God It's Friday, which is about, you know, Jason and Friday the thirteenth. Mm. And we mimicked the famous jump scare at the end where Jason comes out of the water with, you know, with our own sort of breakdown. So I think that was like, that was the culmination of, of a breakdown and a jump scare, mm-hmm. a break scare, a, pre- a jump down, a jump, a jump out. You I can, think we just created, you can add phrase, core right? at the end of anything and down at the end of anything at this point, And it's just, there you go. There's, there's no rules anymore, man. Just jump one. scare core. Jump. <laughs> jump scare. You guys, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you you guys this idea, which you probably will never fucking use, and a band might use this one day. I'm yet to see a band do a video on for YouTube where they put fake annotations at the end as a jump scare, and then the video still goes after. Because that's the most, like, Ooh. right? Because when the annotations like come that. up, you're like, you're done. Okay, we're safe. It's over. I'm waiting for a band to fucking be like, well, you're not safe. You're, you're not saying wow that is smart i can't believe i never thought of that like we've tried jump scares at the end of some of our videos where there's like you know five seconds of silence mm-hmm. but i think you're onto something if, hey if you want just you don't tell me when you do the video so i can watch it and shit my pants because i'm scared i'm gonna i want to see you shit your pants okay. live on the air <laughs> that's good and uh, dude yeah I, I mean a bunch of want to talk to him because it's so cool like as you mentioned 15 fucking years it's so weird because I remember even getting into you guys. I'm like, I thought you guys were like a newer band. Like, is that something that's common when people get like listen to you guys nowadays or come up to you? Like, are they surprised that you guys have been a band for that long? Like, it's it's yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's it's a very unusual, unusual situation. So it's sort of an anomaly. You know, this is the only band I've ever been in. Usually you hear about like, yeah, I know I was in this band and that band and then right. where this band broke up. And uh, I've always been sort of a relentless person and I would just always refuse to give in or give up kind of a, a vibe. And I started this band as a, as a ska punk band when I was 14 years old with my buddies, just playing at our local VFWs in high school and worshipped punk and ska mu- music, which I still do, mm-hmm. and still completely we wear on our sleeves to the point where when we played with uh, Metallica at SoFi and we did our song It Is The End, we brought out Real Big Fish's uh, horn section Hell and played yeah. that with them live, which sounded so cool. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people, uh, I would say a majority of the people probably have discovered us in the last five years and um it seemed like uh silver scream every trick in the book kind of got things a nice momentum building you know we're doing okay on the album before that well when every trick in the book one thing i was gonna also like it was there a particular moment where you guys even woke up one day and you're like oh it this is it's going like now like at this intense rate where like you guys didn't even maybe anticipate 
I think I think I noticed that at first when we really stopped caring about what other bands were doing and mm. and are we heavy enough or trying to emulate this production sound. I think we were caught in a little bit of a rut for for a few years worrying too much about that. And as soon as I stopped caring about that, we did this song uh, called Me, Myself, and Hyde, mm. which was from every trick in the book. And that was just kind of a weirder song for us, you know, uh, where we, we took some risks. And uh, I think the real next big moment for us is, is obviously when we released The Silver Scream, where there's so many kind of weird left turns that you wouldn't expect from a band like us. Putting Less Than Jake uh, on a song, putting like putting our ska influences on there, uh, with Welcome to Harwood going even more to the extreme, like coming out of a like kind of a I don't know like a, a waltzy song about American Psycho going into a Huey Lewis right. and the News riff, <laughs> and then me breaking the fourth wall, and you know it's just it, it was so funny to me because some some people you know you always get critics like this band oh my god I've never heard anything like the guy is talking about his own band and his song could you could you think of anything more cringy and egotistical I'm like dude have you ever seen american psycho like duh that's the whole point so it, it's just us kind of having fun and uh i i actually love when i hear people make those kind of criticisms because i'm like dude Mm -hmm. You're an idiot. You just don't get it. <laughs> it's, is that is that that must be such a cool dynamic, cool and and maybe not cool sometimes for people being stupid because they don't understand. Like because you guys are so deep, both with obviously metal and music, but it there's so it's so horror themed that you guys must have so many fans that just love horror. Maybe who knows? Either maybe even never listened to a metal track in their whole fucking life, and then they just like the aesthetics, and then they're like, "Yo, this breakdowns and shit." Like fuck yeah, dude. Like this is my life now. Let's yes. go. And then the other side. People that are have never watched a horror movie in their whole life and just, you know, like metal and cool riffs and sick vocals and good songs. And then they get into that and they're like, damn, I kind of just want to like go like binge watch this and have nightmares tonight. Like, is that is that something that's common for you guys? Absolutely. And it's so cool to see. And it's so cool that you pointed that out because we see a lot of that. We see a lot of people saying, you know, we were never really into this screamy music. We never really heard of that kind of music. <laughs> yeah, that. We just liked horror movies. And that's usually that's usually like the older people that, you know, grew right. up on Friday the 13th or that are, you know, maybe in their 50s even. Um, and they're bringing their little kids to the conventions to come and meet us and to our shows. And then on the other side of it, it's uh, people who liked metal before but never really knew too much about horror or didn't know the deeper cuts. You know, everyone knows Michael Myers and Jason and Leatherface and mm. Freddy, but maybe they didn't know Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh, you know, some more obscure slasher movies. But at the end of the day, like, I, I think we're a good band. I don't, I don't think we're some um, like incredible force or something like that. I just think we're just people that love metal. We love horror. And we're just, we work really hard and we're just having a good time with it, you know? Mm -hmm. You gotta have fun. Especially, you guys have been going for yeah. a minute. Like, if you're not having fun with that shit, that's not, no, no amount of anything's gonna keep you going. Absolutely. And and obviously, it's all subjective and, um, you know, and I know our music and our whole aesthetic is not for everyone. And that's what makes the world go round. Yeah. And I, I, I actually, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's good for, some bands to do weird shit and that's what we're doing we're doing weird shit weird shit fun shit, weird shit that's what fun shit that's what it's about man have a good yeah fucking yeah team. everyone chill the fuck exactly how much we always think about like how much can we get away with like can we really do that in this song and uh hmm. i don't think we ever say no we're crossing yeah. the line here let's go for it well because you guys fucking go through both extremes and i feel like bands are either too scared to do it usually or like they just don't know how because how bands think this is a this type song or this type song instead of like hey here's a song with a really catchy chorus and we can still do a fucking deathcore breakdown like they don't they sure. they, they they don't think that they can combine the two because it's either too scary intimidating they think bands you know it's taboo or whatever the fuck and i love that you guys are just like no you can do that whatever just make it good just fucking link the ideas and make it a cohesive song that's it absolutely and our, our our fans are so cool and so 
uh, willing to accept different styles within our within our band. Um, I always admired a band like a date or member. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought they were always one of the best at, at doing, you know, they can do a beautiful acoustic ballad and then they could do like a, a like a tough guy hardcore song. Yeah. Dude. So, I, you know, that was one band that I, I always thought that, that, hey, that's cool that they're not afraid to do both things. Obviously, we get a little bit weirder in Ice Nine Kills, but uh, we love the fact that, 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 uh, that our fans appreciate you know, a, a rock ballad like a grave mistake, and then we can come in and do like a a face smasher with a with, with a corpse grinder that's, on take your pick. Wow, you know? yeah, dude, that's that. I mean, you can't get a better dude to do a song like that than corpse grinder. No, no, you can't. <laughs> that's and that's actually, I think that's the first song really ever we've ever done that doesn't have a clean chorus. There's no, there's like there's one little funny part that is a um little homage to love hurts you know that that, that yeah. classic song love hurts that we put in the the breakdown right. right before the breakdown but uh man that was fun to be like all right like fuck it uh, let's not do a, a chorus in this song let's just make it like a catchy like almost like hate breed kind of refrain and try to make it catchy rhythmically mm-hmm. dude i love that and i have to ask because we're talking a bit about hardcore here do you have a favorite breakdown call out it, it can be a noise or it can be a sentence that happens before the breakdown becometh upon you. Uh, from from our band or from anything? Any band? Just 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 like you hear that and you're like, yo, I, I am in a safe zone right now, but I kind of got to fucking throw, throw down a little because this is getting me pumped. Man. It's going to I might have to come back to you on that That's and fine. try to That's try to spin my wheels on, on what would be my favorite. What, what's your favorite? I think I think uh, Ghost Inside, uh, life hits hard, but I hit harder. Fuck, is that Mercy? I forgot. That oh, one. that's a great that's a great line. Uh, I remember that lyric. That one, or or just a good old fucking you know. Actually, you know what? Cha- knock loose's um, fucking knock loose motherfucker. That goes pretty hard too. It's that's so pretty sick. hard. I think there's some really good ones in uh, the Infant Annihilator band. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, is it zombie noises? Is is it is it a word no, or is it a noise? No, it's just it's 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 sort of like it is sort of like a, just a noise. But I, what is the what is the song called? It's like it slows down in the breakdown with like a clock. A clock. Uh, I can't think of like it, it's like, but it keeps getting slower and sludgier. I think that might be my favorite okay. breakdown. I'll, I'll try. I'll find out yeah. what the name was. I'll get you. Um, but Infinite Annihilator goes hard. I don't know if you're a fan. Oh, dude, yeah, dude, fucking Dickie's Dickie's vocals are fucked, man. That guy, dude, it's so good. Yeah, people. Are, and I, he was, he was also in. Um, what was the other band that he came, he 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 went into after Infinite Annihilator? He's, they toured with us. Oh, Scumfuck. It's. No, it wasn't Scumfuck. I love saying these names of the song. That's that's another thing I do. Whenever I go to like a bar and they have like the i music tunes, yeah, what it, you know, whatever to the touch, you know, the jukebox. Mm-hmm. I always go to Cannibal Corpse and put up like, you know, fucked with a knife or you know, uh, just like the the most disgraceful song titles dude um, i saw i saw the live at dick skin massacre or something i know there's some crazy ones i can't think of it's so fun um, see, like seeing george i mean they're, they're a little older dudes now and like he still goes up there and he's just like i come blood and you can tell that guy's having the time of his life screaming that <laughs> i come blood that's one of the ones i definitely try to put on the screen or anything from vile from but vile. that's pre that's pre corpse oh chats right? necro goblin was that the band you were thinking that would I'm not sure. No, uh, I, I, I'll think of it. It'll come okay. to me. No, but I sure. just, uh, he's a great vocalist. I can't yeah. think of the name. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, anyway. Nonetheless, I mean, that's, that's that's a tough question. That's that's like asking, pick your it favorite kid. It is a tough kid. question. Like, you can't. You can't that sometimes. You just have to say they're all yeah. nice and you, you like them all, even if you don't. That's fine. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Nonetheless, Spencer, I do want to check out the new song with you, if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely, that's dude. And you, you've heard it already, right? I save it. I save it. Oh, you, I dude, you saved it. it. That's really cool. So we get. So have you ever been in a situation where you just have to pretend it's good? No. <laughs> or you just don't air it if it's bad. I, I just. Oh wait, we're live though. Right? We're live. <laughs> Yo, Chad. Uh, I love if this. Is not, this sucks. If, if this sucks, sh- no one knows. Okay, never mind. This never happened. If this sucks. 
funny. Yeah. No, it's, but, it's um, that's, I'm like, go ahead. I'm either usually like, that's because I just like music intense and I'm like, okay, either like I'm chill and like objectively the song's like good. Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, it does nice. Like I, I can, and I can appreciate and see where the intent is a lot of the time of what the artist was going for. So I'm like, okay, they, they just went for the big catchy chorus and the verses kind of just built to the chorus. I get it. And the verses are kind of just like null in there. So, okay. And then there's a banger Do you, and you're like, and then there's a banger. And, now l l let me ask you this, okay. Nick, yes. do you know too much about, um, Silence of the Lambs? Like, are you a fan of the movie or, I think you I know a little bit about it? I one time when I was younger and that's kind of, I, I watch okay. horror movies like n not very often. If anything, actually, listening to your guys' music actually makes me want to scare the shit out of myself. And it's spooky season. So, like, I think I'm going to have some night terrors this month. Let's fucking go, guys. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, bud. Hell yeah. Um, But, yeah, beat and greet. I say for you. I say it's for you, Spencer. So I love I'm, that. I'm not going to waste any fucking time. I'm excited time. for you let's, to listen. Let's fucking do it. Meet and greet. Yes, chat. Welcome, by the way, in case you're just joining us. We're kind of doing like a pseudo fun podcast, New Music Friday here with Spencer of Ice Nine Kills shooting the shit. Because like, I was like, we usually just do the New Music Friday. But you know what? I have so much fun things to talk about with Spencer. So why not just fucking talk of it? Right? Just chill, just man. Just chill. That's, that's what it's about, man. Ch chilling, shooting the shit, you know, and having a good fucking time. On a Friday, that's on right. Friday the 13th. Do you have any things you literally do religiously on Friday the 13th? I always feel really bad if I don't watch at least a few of the Jason Voorhees movies mm. because they're just, uh, it's like comfort food to me. I'm such a weird fucking guy when it comes to <laughs> horror. Like when I fall asleep, a lot of people, you know, put their AirPods on and like listen to soft, relaxing music. I'm listening to like commentary tracks from the director of Jason Goes to Hell from 1993. I'm just fucking weird, man. It's 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 can you like can you get jump scared like has it got to the point where you're numb from almost fear or cinematic fear at this point? Yes, and I I wish I could get that back. Uh, I really I really haven't seen a movie that scared me in a long time and uh I'm always sort of searching for that now. Hmm. But it, it's you know I I am I'm pretty desensitized to it. It's more just like almost just this is badass you know what i mean right, right. like uh terrifier terrifier 2 like that was um i don't know if you've seen those movies but um you got to check them out it's they're, they're super brutal like mostly just amazing practical effects and art the clown is this like new icon that i think is going to raise to the ranks of like a jason or a michael and it's just uh it's, it's funny, it's eerie, and it's really fucking disturbing. Can, but like in a fun way. Can you out clown? <laughs> that makes any sense. The clown from it, though. Like, can can there be a? I mean, I love it. I I, I love Pennywise and stuff. But I remember the marketing of this Terrifier movie. I think it said, "Art the clown makes Pennywise look like Krusty uh, the clown" or something <laughs> like that. That's fucking savage, dude. Yeah, savage. Jesus Christ. Well, there you go. We got meet and greet. Let's throw it on against Spencer from Ice Nine Kills. Okay, so I know you were talking things about a specific premiere video, and like I know I just have an audio only here. So what what is the proper viewing experience for this, Spencer? Because I know when you guys do videos, you go all out, and I want to do this properly. I don't want to half-ass this experience. Oh man, I wish that I wish that you could see the video. Um Okay. I'm wondering if I could could I send you a link or something that only you would be able to to watch? I don't know. You can. I don't know how that. happy management might be, but uh, you if you if everything's chill. I but guess. but but what is there a way to do it where mm. they can just hear it without seeing a seeing it mm. and you can see it? We e yes, it might take a second to set up. Because that's how I'd like you to experience it, but I think it would actually be kind of a cool thing, if possible, that you're seeing it and you're seeing that reaction. People are okay. watching it, but they can't see it because it's not out yet. I will do it. I'm going to mute the screen. The screen's gone. You can send me whatever, okay. and it won't pop okay, up cool. on the screen. Okay, okay. I like this. We're doing it this way. I love this idea. This, this, am I going to get fucking jump scared, by the way? I haven't watched the scare, something scary in a minute. Like, Am I going to get a little Better. night terrors tonight, homie? You get, you better get fucking jump scared, or I didn't do my goddamn job. Um, I believe, 
No, go ahead. Say what you were going to no, say. I'm, I'm, okay, like I'm, I'm preparing mentally for this. I was... Let's continue, sorry. Yeah, do your thing. Okay, and also what I'm sending you okay. also has like the whole storyline after it, so don't you don't have to watch that yet okay. because that's gonna that's like a 20 minute thing. But okay. you'll get you, dude. You're getting the first peek at this. No one has seen this besides you know people that so, went to the premiere last night. But hmm. whatever. I'm so what? Let's let's okay. go. Fucking let's, streamer let's do it. privileges. I'm texting right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is this a first in in Nick Nocturnal history? Yeah, yeah, dude. All right. This is okay. Ignore the uh, the notes at the bottom. Those were like just edit notes. Okay. But this is a pretty goddamn close version to what it will be. Okay. I, I I'm I'm a little bit. I have to send my message to my Facebook so I can open it on my computer. This is this is all little, for dude. All for the love of the game. All for the love of the game, dude. I'm stoked as fuck. Thank thank you. Can we get some class for Spencer right here? Being a little renegade here. Uh, you know, I, lo I love this. Break, breaking the rules slightly to make this happen, so I can have night terrors tonight. <laughs> well, I want you. I want you to see it the men, the way it's meant to be seen. Okay. You know? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yes, Chad. You're gonna look at this, and that's it. And you're gonna have to fucking deal with this. You just stare at Spencer. That's it. Okay. I got my PR. I put my PRS in the frame because I, I don't want to. You know, I want it to look like Spencer. This is 18 minutes. <laughs> Right, right, right. Don't obviously once the song actually stops. Yeah, the song is not eighteen. We're not Dream Theater. What the fuck? Yeah, we went kind of a like Avenged Sevenfold, Dream Theater, early Metallica on this one. It's a, uh, it's a two day long album. <laughs> okay. 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 Right. If I if the if the reaction goes up, Caleb, put a random picture of the that back, or put a picture of Spencer. That's what I'm reacting to. There you go. That looks really good up there, actually. That's not bad. That does uh, look nice. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I'm saying what you. I love that you have the album art behind you. I, dude, I come on. I I put. I, I do the I do the dude, minimal. You're legit. I do the minimal effort for streaming. Come on, Spencer. You know. I dude, it. Well, it looks great. I'm not. I'm not like. I don't. Know, I'm impressed. Thank you. I appreciate. Okay. It. okay, I'm gonna check the volumes here. We're just gonna go. Uh, and yeah. uh, I know you have to head out soon too, so I'm just gonna hit play and and let's do it. Hey guys, this is a future Nick talking, and yes, yeah, so we did a whole reaction to the entire song. It's sick, by the way. Go check it out. Um, but it's gonna be maybe I don't know in a different video, or it's gonna be like on the clips channel, so you can check out the reaction there. Uh, so this is just going to go straight to our post reaction of the song live. Um, yeah. Anyways, there you go. Thank you. Future Nick back to past Nick. I thought that was like a, a llama spit or something like that for a second. I didn't <laughs> like, what the fuck is well, so that's a, that's a no. If you if you haven't seen Silence of the Lambs before, he makes that noise to Clarice when he's talking about eating someone with a a nice Chianti and some fava beans. Okay, dude, I watched. he makes that sound, think, and and that's also why the breakdown call out is "I'd fuck me" because it's something that Buffalo Bill says. It's a super strange scene. So if you don't if you don't if you haven't seen the movie watch it because i think it gives it a little bit of perspective and i also just wanted to see thousands of people at a concert scream the breakdown line i'd fuck me like, i think that's hilarious that's fucking hard dude. <laughs> the noise, I just, that's fucking awesome i mean in an age where vocalists are trying to make zombie noises and all this shit that's honestly what you did there is one of my favorite little fucking tidbits well yeah because like i'm t i mean i know the blah and and all that stuff uh, to me, I I, I, I I would never do it just because everyone does it. So I think I'm trying to popularize. <laughs> Maybe that'll catch on. I don't know. I just want I want you guys to play this live and just everyone in the crowd just doing that fucking noise. Like that's, that would be you got just just everyone shows the fuck up on stage and you just give it just done. Yeah. Well, try it. Can you do it? Dude, you got dude. You got the part. I got the part. You're in. <laughs> Bring me when you guys come to Toronto next. Bring me on stage only to do that. That's that's it, bro. Absolutely, okay. that is a fucking deal. Do I got to suit up? I can suit up. I can I can pull. No, off we'll put you in the straight jacket like oh. he is in the movie and, and the mask. That's and fair. We'll wheel you on stage. <laughs> this is just 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 for just for one second. I'm going, and that's it. Then I'm fucking out, bro. You're out. But um, 
I love that. Meeting Green Einstein kills, dude. Fucking bad. By the way, song overall. I love that. The verses were sick. Huge fucking chorus. I love the harmonic major kind of minor um, vibe. And uh, those breakdowns are dummy thick, dude. And your fucking vocals are always absolutely nutty with like how you go from the crazy clean catchy stuff to like the brutal fucking deathcore shit. Fucking. Thank you very much. And I have to shout out, you know, all, all the guys in the band uh-huh. scream as well. So some of the screaming you were hearing was mm. Ricky, some was Joe, Dan, right. and I think even Patrick threw some screams down, which is another weird thing with our band. Yeah. It's weird that we all we all sing and we all scream. You can do it all. Well, Spencer, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Again, that was the track. Chaco, check it out. Meet and greet out right now. Ice Nine Kills. Show the homies the fucking love. And definitely watch the video when it's live and as well as the whole rest of it. Uh, I'm excited to watch that too after stream. Spencer. Thank you so much for coming to hang shoot the shit, homie. I, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for absolutely. It was a pleasure to do. It's been too long. It's been a long time coming. Dude, yeah, anytime you want to come do internet dumb shit, fucking slide in the DMs. I got you, bro. That's Thanks, cool. buddy. Anytime. Have a good one, Spencer Charnas. Everyone, beautiful. Have a beautiful night, homie. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, bro. Happy Friday the thirteenth. Happy Friday the fucking thirteenth. Stay out of the woods, kids. <laughs>